Now, there's no one out there that doesn't like a pimped out ride. Now, you may know these guys from the MTV show, Pimp My Ride, but I'm here with Steve with Gas, and you guys right. have been doing this for a very long time. Well, actually, yeah, we Galpin's been doing it since the 70s. We did Flying Pinto, they did the first uh, Moonroof, they did conversion vans with fireplaces into the 70s, and then obviously the progression is now. We are here doing uh, Barrett Jackson and showing our pimped rides. What do you guys do to make it that much more special? Well, a couple of things. One of the things we do is uh, a, our reputation and our the backing that we have behind us, the fact that we are the number one Ford dealer in the world and we have that reputation. What we do here at Galpin Auto Sports is perfection, quality. We really care about what the product we're going to deliver. I mean, sometimes you came to me and you said, I want this car right here. I want it perfect. Well. Your idea of perfect is one thing, but our idea of perfect might be a whole other level. A lot of times we actually, you know, take a car way well beyond what the customer's expectations are and he gets it back and goes, wow, I didn't <laughs> expect this. And that's the way we want it though, right? You right. always want to, you know, you always want to, uh, you know, over deliver with a customer. So this particular car that we're standing next to, the 69 Mustang, we built nice. this at SEMA last year in four days. Whew. This whole car was built in four days on stage at the Ford booth to kind of show that, you know, this is what a, a group of guys can do in a short period of time and the quality, as you can see, this car is amazing. Yes, it's beautiful. So you're based in LA. Yes. A lot of celebrities coming in and out of your shop. What's some of the cars that you've worked on? Well, we worked on a, a, as far as a lot of um, uh, hot rods. We do a lot of hot rods for celebrities. We also take a lot of new cars like this Jaguar here, and we actually pimp it out for uh, you know celebrities and ball players, and they usually like these things really well. We just mostly new cars, just mm -hmm. completely go crazy on the new cars. All right, this is the Jag that you're talking about. One of one, right? One of one. This is the XJ75. And uh, Jaguar hired us to uh, build this concept car, and we went ahead and, what's nice about this car is this paint, you know, everybody says, oh, it's flat. It's not, it's a semi-flat metallic. And it's actually a metallic in the white. He's got pearl white in it, and it's a semi-flat. You can wash it, you can wax it. It's a new stage. This one's got a body kit that we did. It's got custom 22-inch Ford Jada wheels. We actually nice. copied the Bugatti interior on this car. So this car is actually uh, pretty amazing. It's and one of one for Jaguar. It's a 75th concept car. And what makes it, what else is different about this car that makes it that special custom car? Well, um, you know, a lot of things like the headlights, those are headlights, so those are not the factory headlights that we modified. We took, took them apart, we modified the factory headlights, you know, the front the front air dam that we did, it's been complete, the side skirts you see here, they don't come that way at all, the rear fascia, the exhaust, you know, the audio system in here, we've upgraded the audio system in this car, so, you know, you pretty much have touched every part of this car. All right, and then over here we have a Mustang, and I see the sticker over there it says it's like thirty grand, but that's not true. No, this <laughs> this this car is about two hundred thousand. Uh, this is the Iacocca Mustang that uh, we were part of building. The Iacocca Mustang. They actually Lee Iacocca mm -hmm. built forty-five of these. Pretty much all of them were gone. The last two, which is a forty-five, and uh, the last two, forty-four and forty-five, are black and candy apple red. All the other ones are silver. It's been completely modified. I know it's got a, it's got the old style fastback on it. Okay. You know the front's been extended. I like it. Lee Iacocca himself was part of the design, and uh, so it's kind of the father of the Mustang. He invented the Mustang back in '64 and a half. So his last thing he wanted to do 45 years later is do one more Mustang before he reti before he retired. So. So I heard a story that this is the red one, but there's a 45, which is black. And what is the reasoning for that? Is there a reason Well, you know, that? all the other ones are silver, right? And okay. they figured that you know the last two they wanted to make it even you know one step special i guess it's well the uh the one of the favorite colors of uh lee was is red and black okay. so we did the candy apple red which is a great hot rod color and you can see it's amazing and then the black one the 45 it's the last car it's kind of like <laughs> i don't know there's a lot of ways you can you can play off that black but you know what you can't go wrong with black no you can't go wrong with black and you know what i've been looking for the one for a while but uh i think i found it right here 